Hi, I'm Lariel Moondagger. I'm the current Kingdom Regent of the Desert Winds, and we're a very widespread kingdom, which can make travel very difficult and nearly impossible to do in the winter. So I decided to create a series of tutorials in order to bring the arts and sciences to you, no matter where you are. So I hope you enjoy watching and learn a little something too. All right, this is the tutorial on how to put a recessed center grip into a plank foam shield. So the first thing you need to do is cut out your plank foam shield. I've actually kind of already started and I'm going back so I can get this on film. Um, next, you need to make your center grip. What I tend to use is um, these orange fiberglass uh, street signs, uh, street sign slats. They're the ones that are used in barricades. Uh, they normally go like this and you have a cloth barricade much longer than these. These have obviously been cut down. So what I've done for the the handle is I've taken on my bandsaw with a metal cutting blade um, and cut a notch out halfway down the width of this. This is about a, an inch and a quarter wide by just under a quarter of an inch thick. Um, so I cut that notch out. That way when you hold it here you have less um, uh, fingers on the outside um, space once you dig it in. I'll, I'll explain later. Then I take uh, some pieces of leather on either side. You can see how this is wider. I've taped them onto either side and actually added more leather stripping on the back. I built it up uh, using tape and then covered it in grip tape so that it's a, a, a comfortable um, width for the handle and this will give a lot of lateral control. Next, I'm going to take my, uh, my shield core here and I'm going to find the center. I mark it off so that I know, you know, from the top to the bottom here how long I need to be. And then I'm going to cut out a, uh, a square on the inside so that my hand will fit in there. Um, I've already done that, so just using a steak knife to cut through. So that piece can be thrown away now. Um, now, there's a couple different, some people like their their handles straight, perpendicular to the, the uh, flat of the shield. I prefer them to be a little bit angled like this. That way, if you see from here, when you're holding your, when you're holding your shield arm in this, in this position here, um, if I had it perpendicular to the flat of the shield, when the, when the shield's in front of me, my hand would be twisted. And I'm going to have a lot of torque on that wrist. Especially if I start getting hit on the shield again, it's going to move past. So what I do is I angle that cut in so that the handle, I don't know if you can see that, is not straight on flush. It's kind of going in at an angle which allows my wrist to be straight with my forearm which allows a lot uh, less tension on the wrist in fighting. So now I've got this here. I want to bring the uh, the center grip slat so that it's just flush with the back side giving me extra room here on the front side so that when my fingers come around they end up being flush with the front of the shield that way I can just put a small piece of foam to, to boss over the top of it or if I'm going to skin the whole piece in MC to turn it into a plastic dip shield later I could do that add an extra piece of blue foam however you want to do it so at this point you've got it in now you need to be able to anchor it so that it's not going to pop out. So we're going to use um, about 10 inch strips of strapping tape. That's a, the clear tape that has the fiberglass straps or strands through it. Makes it really strong. And I'm going to come through, thread it through the, the hole in the shield. And then on the non-sticky side, I'm going to be pushing that in and rubbing it up the slat here because it's going to be difficult with, this, with the sticky stub gra grabbing it. So I'm holding it really tight so I can get, you, get it right up to the edge of the slat and then I smooth it down on either side. Next piece, I'm going to go under and reverse it the other direction. Again, holding it really tight and go up. And we're just going to alternate up and down all the way down for this side and then again for the bottom side. So I'll do that real quick. Turn a little bit. Then 
This will give it enough support so that you can twist and turn on your on your grip and the grip won't come out. I pre-cut these strips and laying them off the edge of the table over here. Oh, by the way, I think I went double. so I need to cut me some more strips. A steak knife works well. I'm using some three quarter inch strapping tape three quarter inch wide. Um, find that the the, uh, the closer I can make those those alternating straps, the more support I get. If I use like a two inch, it'll be okay, but it'll have some play by the time it's done. Without being that we're, we've got some black 1.8 pound plank foam that we're using, so you can really see where the the tape works in contrast. That wasn't planned; just happy accident. Okay, then what I normally do here, um, you can see, take some tape on the front and the back, just above, and that kind of keeps that crack from separating at all. Um, it allows the, the joint to be more secure. Do it on the opposite side as well. Sometimes I'll throw an extra cross on it. This is some really heavy density foam, so should be pretty good. So that's how you get it installed. Next we'll cut out a boss to put over the top of it so it gives a little bit of padding to stop those pole arm shots to the center. Um, but as you can see, just tweaking my wrist, I can move, move it out. And I'm keeping my wrist nice and straight by having that angle uh, the, the handle put in at an angle. Um, you know, worked out just just fine with it sitting in front of my body. And we'll go from there. Thanks. This so what I've done is here. I've got a piece of MC, traced out a couple of circles, um, 
This one I'm going to take, I'm actually going to put the bandsaw uh, blade at an angle and cut it out so I don't have a, a, a half inch ridge. It'll kind of angle up when I put it on the fl flesh of the, or on the face of the shield. So I'm going to move over and angle that bandsaw. And then I'm just going to trace it out. Now I've got that that edge there beveled a little bit so that when I put it flush on the onto the face of the shield, um, it'll allow the cover to, to roll over it really nice. Um, so here, it'll fit right in here. Normally, uh, if I was going to make this a permanent fixture, I would dap this on, dap it around the edges uh, so that it'll stick on here. But uh, for this specific shield blank, we're going to eventually turn it into a plastic dip shield. I don't want to be able to take that off. So I'm just going to strapping tape it down to anchor it on there temporarily uh, until we get around to, to plastic, plastic dipping the shield. So again, I'm just using some strapping tape. I'm going to follow the edges. Strapping tape, obviously, really difficult to cut which is kind of why we use it. It doesn't break. got that so that it's anchored and secure right around the middle. Um, press it down a little bit and then we'll add our shield cover. So we put the fitted shield cover, that'll be a different video tutorial, uh, on. So hand again, shield, uh, shield cover and it's it's done. It gives you great uh, ability to move around, adjust your shield and it's really, really comfortable on my wrist holding right there. Thanks for watching.